on my logs and all that stuff. I like top water baits. We're gonna do another one here. Uh, this is Juan Brute from Kayak Fish PA. We're doing our boot camp today. We have beautiful weather. Uh, these guys are like, I hope the weather gets really bad today, and, and it did. So this is going to be awesome. We're going to be catching some fish. We're going to learn some stuff about kayak and fishing out of a kayak. Um, I'll kind of ask these guys, like, what, why did you, why did you want to get into boot camp? Well, I read about it before, and uh, but I didn't get to make it last year, so I do a little way to improve my fishing and uh, my paddling and, and fish this nice river you have here. Uh, yeah, I'd like the same same kind of thing. I uh, saw about it, read about it online. Uh, love the fish, love the kayak fish. Uh, just a new way to maybe learn some new uh, techniques. Uh, maybe learn how to catch some big fish or more consistently catch big fish, and uh, and just learn a different river. I've never been on the Juniata before, so looking forward to it. Okay, we're gonna get out there in the water, do some paddling, and then we're gonna catch some fish. It's that simple. All right, we're at day two of the boot camp. Um, we pushed off, we woke up at five o'clock this morning, got some breakfast, put our gear away. We were on the river around six o'clock or so. Uh, the first day of boot camp, we really honed in on a, a presentation and a location of the fish. Uh, location was mid-river. We didn't find anything on the bank. The presentation is a real finesse, small two inch, two and a half to three inch baits just dragging them on the bottom and that's pretty much what we did the first day we caught a good number of fish but not very big fish I mean the biggest fish um, actually we caught one fish on a spinner bait and that was a 17 incher uh, so uh, day two it looks like we're pan again we, we tried some things in the morning top water spinner baits a lot of different stuff on the banks um, behind eddies uh, but again the mid-river stuff the mid-river boulders and, and chunk rock uh, little current breaks or, or what's producing smaller baits. So hopefully today we can upgrade the size of the fish, uh, sticking with the same pattern, and we'll see how it goes.
On the last day of boot camp, after all Juan's instructions finally paid off, it was it 18, 18, 18, 18 and three, and three quarter. quarter, and it was all because of the uh, Juan. How'd you catch it? Uh, on a green wacky worm at the tail end of an island. Nice job. Yeah. You don't want to come in. Still got a lot of fight in it. Oh, he's got one eye. He's got one eye. Guess that's why he's swimming, Crutch. Yep. Split, swimming like a flounder because he's got one eye. Woo! I almost had him. Oh, he's just barely hooked. Don't jump, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy crap. There he is. We had a great uh, two days on the water. We had a half a day of seminars. We had two days on the river. Uh, we learned a lot about paddling uh, the first day. Uh, we kind of reinforced the paddling positioning stuff throughout the two days. Uh, we worked on uh, developing pattern. Uh, first day, we were able to actually develop a pattern pretty quickly. Uh, caught fish dragging baits on the bottom in the mid-river locations. Found no fish on the banks. Uh, second day, it was pretty much the same thing. Uh, we did get into some bigger fish by throwing, by adjusting our presentation a little bit, bumping up on the size of the worm. We ended up throwing about a six inch, five, six inch wacky worm uh, made by Al Winko. Um, laminated wacky worm as a matter of fact and uh, that produced some big fish uh, over the two days we caught uh, a few 17 17 half inch fish uh, 18 three quarter and then we caught one 19 inch fish so it wasn't a bad two days on the river uh, we were kept catch some decent fish caught a lot of little fish but the idea was to get out there and try some new things and catch fish uh, on things that we might not have tried before and I think we've, we've accomplished that in many ways yeah, I've learned a lot of new techniques that hopefully I'll put them uh, into use when I get back to my home water. And uh, my, my paddling skills, I think, are a lot better now than what they were before we started. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, trying some of these things out. Yeah, it was a great it was a great experience. I recommend it to anybody out there who loves to fish and wants to get out in the water two days. It was a, it was a wonderful time. Camping was uh, a little primitive, but uh, very enjoyable. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. I think I take away uh, from the course, uh, the, the Sunday part of the course was the, the classroom part. Learned a lot through that. I think Juan did a great job of explaining a lot of different things. Uh, on the river, uh, I think my positioning is a lot better now. I feel a lot more confident uh, in how to position my boat, how to pos position the kayak, and, and maneuver it to where I need to be to, to get the maximum bite that I can. Uh, and uh, it was just a wonderful experience and uh, definitely recommend it to anybody.